everyone, welcome to my channel. So if you're wondering what makeup I have on now, I actually just filmed a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial which will either be up before this video or after this video. I have no idea, but anyway, just to answer the question there. So today I'm going to be filming kind of like a best of um, products video. And I've filmed one of these previously with Jouer Cosmetics, um, which is obviously a makeup brand. And that went down really well and I thought it was a great idea to do a video focusing on one brand in particular and picking out all their best sellers, most popular products to then do kind of like a quick review on. And I've been trying all the products now for about a month and two weeks so I have a good opinion of them. So I'm just going to get right into the video and start with the most popular product. This is the Clarins Double Serum. So as you can see by the packaging this product is already really interesting just by looking at it. And the product has two chambers. One of them is kind of more like a serum gel type and the other side is more of like a hydrating liquid. That's why it's called the hydric and lipidic. Hydric meaning water and lipidic meaning kind of like fat, fatty acids I guess. So in terms of anti-aging, I'm 23 so I'm not really looking for an anti-aging product. I'm more about, you know, preventing pigmentation, dark spots, sun damage and I'm not really looking at getting rid of wrinkles as such. But the main reason I wanted to try this product was because of the hydration claims. So when I used the serum, I felt like I didn't need to use such a rich moisturiser to moisturise my skin because every time I cleanse or tone or whatever I do, sometimes even if I'm using a really moisturising, um, really gentle cleanser, my skin will feel very dry and tight. But I found when I used the serum, it plumped back up again. And I guess I don't have any wrinkles at the moment, but if you are older, the more plump and moisturized your skin is, I guess the less detectable the wrinkles are. So in my experience, I found that that was the main factor for me um, why I like this serum. In terms of even skin tone, I don't really have any sort of pigmentation going on, so I couldn't really report back on that. But I do really like the serum. Something else to talk about as well is the consistency of the serum. Now, hearing that it is kind of like an oily serum and kind of thick and really, it seemed like it was going to be very cushioning. When I applied it, it was almost very like the thinnest serum I've ever um, used and when I applied it it really does penetrate into the skin super fast so don't expect it to be very thick and greasy because it's not it's a very light serum but it really does plump the skin out um, but you wouldn't expect it when you feel it I don't it's hard to explain but you really do have to touch it so yeah I really do like this um, I honestly I prefer my um, Kate Somerville quench serum just because I think that that just mainly hydrates, but if you want more results, if you want kind of the evening skin tone and you're more into anti-aging, I would recommend this for you. The next product is this oil here. This is the Lotus Face Treatment Oil. This is the 100% pure plant extracts, and of course you know, Clarins have a lot of plant extracts, so if you are suffer from very irritated, sensitive skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this, but my skin seems to be fine using products like this. Now since my skin is dry, my husband actually tried this out a couple of times, and he really does like this. Um, I always try and encourage people with oily skin to use oils at night just to help regulate oil production and just to see how your skin gets on with it. If you suffer from breakouts, breakouts and you use an oil and your skin doesn't get on well with it, then just stop using it. You know, you should try different things to see how your skin reacts. Um, and this one it has rosemary and geranium and it smells a lot like their body tonic. It comes in a pipette form like this and I would recommend just apply it at night time because when you apply oil in the day, especially if you wear makeup, it just tends to dissolve everything and everything slides off. So I would recommend to use it at night. I'm really excited to report back on the dry skin version though, I haven't tried that. Um, but yeah, so far so good with this. And next one is the Clarins Super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. I love these long names. And I this is probably one of my favourite products out of all of them. Um, this one's not really spoke about a lot and this is amazing if you suffer from dehydration lines under your eye and really small, um, not deep, but very fine wrinkles. Now I am 23, like I said, I don't have super dark, you know, deep wrinkles, but I do have a couple of wrinkles going on here, mainly from dehydration. This has an amazing uh, consistency, it's very gel-like, but it's not too thick and it doesn't smother your eyes, you know, you use the smallest amount, blends in really nicely. 
comes in a pump form and it's kind of like a gel consistency and I really do find it really moisturises the eyes really well. Any makeup you apply on top it really makes everything look flawless and I really like it. Um, what I also like about this um, is it has kind of an illuminating pink undertone to it. It's not glitter, it's not sparkle but it just helps wake up your eyes so what I really like to do is apply this before going to the gym or do my skincare routine and I go to the gym and my eyes will just look a little bit awake without putting any makeup on so I really like that and um, in terms of any like major anti-aging breakthroughs I really didn't experience that but then again it's probably best to try it on someone a little bit older than me um, because I don't have any major wrinkles but I really recommend this product if you're just looking for a really simple um, eye cream that doesn't have any complicated things going on with it it's just a really good performing product I also really like you get a lot of product in here as well this is 15 ml which I think I don't know about you I think that's kind of a lot for an eye cream which is really good okay so now moving on to the body oil this is the tonic body treatment and this is firming and toning so this ideally would be used after the gym so you come out from the gym and you're feeling all sweaty and tired and you just dry brush your skin moving upwards so your skin, you know, your circulation is really pumping its way through your body um, and then you can apply some of this as well in your stubborn areas I guess so for women that's normally in the lower body region region, not region, um, the hips, the thighs, the inner thighs and I really do like this, this one has the same scent as the Lotus Face Oil, it's rosemary and geranium, it smells really good, it kind of reminds me of the Caudalie Contouring Concentrate is it, it comes in a really thin um, packaging, that's really good as well. One thing I would say with uh, cellulite -like products in general is just don't expect it to make you lose weight or you know make all your cellulite -like totally go, but it's kind of more of um, a feeling than a natural effect and I just think it's a really nice pampering thing to do for yourself you know to look after your skin especially when going to the gym it's just a nice little treat and um, if you don't like really greasy skin or you know you don't want, like something really fragrant maybe not go for this because it does leave that kind of moisturized after feeling on the skin which is the hazelnut oil in it and I personally like that because I have dry skin and I like the feeling of moisturization so I don't mind that Okay, so the last products here which I have loved for many, many years, these are the Clarins Instant Light Lip Effectors. These are amazing for people who like a very, very natural lip, understated, they don't like sticky lip gloss or anything like this, they don't have any sort of minty taste going on, they're very, very simple. I have the colour 03 and 01. They're really natural looking, um, they're kind of like a very very subtle lip tint but also um, a lip conditioner as well and it comes in like a sponge form so you squeeze the product then you apply it like that and they have a really nice kind of like a vanilla smell, really really nice and sweet and this one is the 01. So as you can see, this one's a little bit more nude, this one's a bit more pink. Really, really pretty colours and I really recommend them. They're like the everyday handbag staple to keep in your bag. They're just great products. So yeah, that's just my quick run through of some Clarins products that I've been trying at the moment. Let me know if you have any Clarins suggestions for me down below. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask and I'll see you soon. Bye.